One of the interesting discussions that I've ever had with veterinarians and ranchers alike is the impact of a cold winter on the uh, birth weights of the calves that come the following spring. And since the weatherman is reporting that uh, January was below normal here in Oklahoma, and now February as well, we've got below average temperatures, I thought I would revisit that particular topic. And as we look back into the scientific literature on that subject, it's hard to find a lot of data to really substantiate the theory. There is a study in Nebraska in the 1990s where they looked at the birth weights of calves born to two-year-old heifers three years in a row and compared those birth weights to the average daytime temperatures that they found in those three years back in the 90s. Over the course of three years time, they noted that one year, the average temperature, and they calculated that by comparing the average high with the lows and then uh, picking out the average for the daytime temperature. One of those three years, the average temperature for the months of December, January, and February was 11 degrees warmer than the, uh, the first year of the study. And when they compared the birth weights of the calves born in those three years, they noted that the calves born in that warmer year were actually 11 pounds lighter than were the counterparts that were born during the colder year. Now, as we look at some other uh, data, well, some done here at Oklahoma State University, we have compared the birth weights of calves born in the fall compared to the spring. In situations where we, we know the, the background of the cows and that they're bred to the same bulls ver uh, using artificial insemination. What we have found is that fall born calves those that uh, have been gestated during warmer weather were on the average four and a half pounds lighter than spring-born calves over a several year period of time. And uh, another study done here at OSU compared the birth weights of calves born in early fall, be right after the, the heat of summer, compared to uh, early winter or very late fall, and again found a substantial difference in the birth weights of those calves. Those born after a colder uh, period of time were heavier than those that were born after a, a warm season. So I think as we go through this calving season, where it looks like the average temperature is below normal in the last part of gestation, we need to expect slightly larger birth weights out of the calves that are born. That probably means that there's more cows going to have some calving difficulty and unfortunately, in these cold nights, we're probably going to have to keep a little closer eye on the cows and especially the heifers because there may be just a little bit more calving difficulty that we have to work with. Not particularly good news, but I think it's interesting to note that after a colder winter, we probably are going to expect slightly larger birth weights and a little more calving difficulty. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.